through that slowing down, I was able to reorient my perspective. And uh, what emerged was this dream come true trip to Spain. Uh, it was my third time ever rock climbing outside. And my first multi-pitch climb, which is when you uh, have more than one rope's length to get up. And it was a 12-pitch climb. And uh, there were certain times in this uh, expedition where I really was not sure if I could go on. I just, I, cause I had just never done anything like this before. And I had to really ask myself, you know, what would someone who could make this next move do? How would, how would someone who could do this view this situation? I had to literally come up in the moment on this rock wall, looking down where it would have been harder at one point to go back down than it would have been to finish up. I just reached this middle point where I had to choose how do I want to be in relationship to this experience. And so I started just asking myself, how would someone who knew how to do this move? How would they think about themselves? How would they feel about themselves? And I just started imagining this avatar of Joanna and I connected with that. And through imagination and through movement and through faith and through joy and elation, I made it to the top of this, of this climb safely. And the whole time it felt like this psychedelic experience because I had so much adrenaline pumping through my veins. And at the same time, my fingers were connecting with these tiny little fossils from deep in the ocean. And these mountains were once underwater. They were once in the primordial waters of the earth. And I was seeing history at my fingertips, these tiny little shells. And at the same time, there were birds flying by. There were Egyptian vultures. And we were at the same height. And it was so quiet and the air was so clear and it was so sweet and the sun was so golden. It was as though time completely dissolved and all that was left was a sense of such deep gratitude and appreciation. I just felt so whole and complete. Um, so I trust that that little share was medicinal for you because it's these moments that I, and I used to chase these larger than, larger than life moments. Um, and that was fine. You know, it was a phase that I was in, but uh, these larger than life moments are available truly in every moment. If we choose to look for the magic and the mundane.